I was speaking to a brother. He gave me a call. And uh, he doesn't and has a problem. He doesn't agree with uh, my observation and my conclusions. One of the things that I observe, and my conclusion is this, and we say here, I am so ashamed that my gender, this black American male, African-American male, the Pan-African, whatever you want to call yourself, soul male or whatever. This gender, my gender, that I belong to, I say, all my gender are cowards, incompetent, pathetic, bunch of losers until proven otherwise. I have yet to see the evidence to show otherwise. And of course, he was very angry at my words. What you mean? You ain't that stupid, Talik. <laughs> you ain't that stupid, Talik, to say all, maybe some, or 10% or whatever. You a crazy Negro. What you mean all? Let me give us two quick examples here. I know you upset. You get very emotional. And you are. You live in denial of reality. Let me give you two quick. Very simple. Examples. <clears throat> You live in a house and you clean behind yourself. When you take a shower or a bath, you clean the bathtub. When you cook dinner, you wash your dishes and you wash your, your, your clothes and you you're a very clean person. You you iron your clothes. Uh you got a little puppy dog and you make sure the dog is clean. You're just a very clean person. Let's just say it's 12 people that live in the house. And there's another person in the house. They are just like you. It's 12 people in the house. And you and this other person. And you clean. And you do what you have to do. To be clean, two clean persons. Y'all like living clean. However, there's 12 people in the house. The other 10, they don't wash their dishes. They don't clean the bathtub. They don't take out the trash. They don't vacuum. Okay. So when somebody comes to visit you, at this house. And as soon as they. Open the door. That doo doo. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm saying this from. Personal experience. You open the person's door. And that pee pee. And that doo doo smell. Hit you in your face. And you are there. To visit. The clean guys. Now, of course, I'm saying all. But when it's all said and done, those two people being clean and you open up that door, that doo-doo, pee-pee smell is going to hit you in the face. Whatever those two little people are doing don't mean nothing. So whoever come visit you, even though they know 
that you're a clean person, they're going to say, that house stink. Simple as that. Now they could add and say, yeah, but I know my I know my brother there, you know, they're not they're not nasty like that. The house stink. It don't make no difference that you and this other person you clean up. Because the ten stink. You're playing basketball and y'all lose. Well, I, I put up 15 points. I put up three points. I put up 55 points. The team lost. Makes no difference if you put up 55 points or two points or three points or, or whatever. You are part of a team. You lost. So basically what I'm saying, you can feel good about yourself. I ain't like them. You're part of a gender that clearly is a bunch of losers. How can you say that? I say that based upon 100 years of life in America. That's what I base it upon. I base it upon the behaviors of these men in 2022. So he continues, man, you crazy. Uh, uh, you can't tell me who I am and what I'm doing. It don't make no difference what you're doing. We as a gender, American black men, we are incompetent, we're pathetic, and we're losers. I mean, that's just, that's the bottom line. You control no resources. You make no laws. You do not control your own food, clothing, or shelter. That's what men are supposed to do. That's why your women and your children have no respect for you because you're not doing what you say men are supposed to do. Not Angel Snuffing Up 7. But you say, well, you know, a man is supposed to protect and provide where well, you're not you're doing a shitty job of protecting and providing and so forth what I'm doing I'm doing it don't make no difference what you're doing no more than being clean and the other 10 people are dirty or you're part of a basketball team and y'all lost all of your loss and that's the situation that's the reality of it so he gets angry at me because he wants to tell me about the little titly wink. And that's another thing. We do these little titly wink projects, open up a lemonade stand, or maybe you got a million dollar business. All that stuff is titly wink baby steps compared to the men you are in competition with. There's a song. I gave my best. But I guess my best wasn't good enough. I'm not trying to down us or degrade us. But our best is not good enough. What we're doing is not good enough. You're too stupid and selfish and arrogant to get yourself together as a gender, as a team, so you can plan a strategy so that you can win as a team because you're playing against people who are playing like a team. You want to play as an individual. That's why the brother I'm talking to say, kept telling me, look what I do. And that's what you hear in the black first, pan-African, uh, black cautious community. Look what I do or we do as an organization, but you never hear the people say, look what we have caused us, us as a people to do. Look what he did, individual. Look what she did. Look what I did. 
You're too dumb. You're too stupid. Selfish. Arrogant. Because you're a bunch of losers. And so you want to be around somebody who can stroke your ego, give you credit and praise that you do not deserve, that you do not, that you have not earned. And so the brother tells me, oh man, the, only, the reason why you feel the way you feel, because you ain't, uh, you ain't getting no nookie. You ain't get, see, again, that's all these Negroes think about. You are over-sexualized. Well, you look, you getting the sex, you getting the nookie, and you producing all these babies, but you can't you don't produce no baby milk, no baby shoes, no baby car seat, nothing, no baby clothes. You getting all this nookie and you getting all the sex and can't take care of your children. Another man who dominates you takes care of you and your children. And you tolerate that. It's all right. You don't want to fight for nothing different. Well, things take time. How much time do you need? Over 100 years, we should be in a better position. I understand that the enemy has done a lot of things to hinder our progress. But in 2022, a lot of this stuff, you can't use as, a, as an excuse. This is not 1930. This is not 1950. This is not 1980. This is 2022. You're just pathetic losers. And you don't know what to do. You don't want no better. You're comfortable living under the domination of another man. Even in the animal kingdom. Male animals, insects fight all the time. For domination, they don't want to be under... And they could be in the same species. Don't want to be under the domination of another man, especially when the other man is a violent, unjust oppressor. And you tolerate that. We tolerate it. So there's something wrong with me. Because I'm sick of being under the domination of another man who has mistreated me for Going on 500 years. There's something wrong with Angel Snub Number 7 because I want resources. I want to control a river. I want my own nuclear power plant. I want my own, I want to create my own laws. I want to do my own thing. And I want it now. I'm t I don't want, I'm not going to keep waiting and waiting and waiting. Then y'all have the nerve to talk about Christian people who waiting on Jesus. And you're not no different. Things take time. How much time? How much time are you talking about? They never give you a time limit. That's because you don't know what you're doing. And you don't want to help the people who do know what they're doing. You don't want to support a new strategy, a new mindset, a new way of doing things. You want to keep doing the same loser-ass crap that you've been doing for the last 100 years. Since 2010, this is 2022. If you put all this blackity black stuff and y'all progress and, and whatever, what have you accomplished? That's what I told this brother. He just mad and angry. Well, you can get mad and angry. Emotional chump. Cry baby. Because you're a loser. Want credit. You want to be honored and get praised. And you want to be called a man and you have not even earned the right, the privilege to be called a man. You under the domination of another man. If it wasn't for him, your ass be starving. And like King Noble said, that's a fact. There's something wrong with Angel Snuffing Up 7 because I'm sick of it and I want more.